motion and the brakes coming in, left curb stone on the brakes and to the outside. Flat through here, light corner, but we're good. That's scary, you yeah. don't know it. Right curb, jump, sideways. On this, the this is a lot scarier actually than the, the GT4. Yes, because you don't have the downforce. Yeah. All right, enjoy your B-roll. My job. <laughs> yeah, your, your job, your turn. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring, where the weather is sunny and amazing for a change. And today, quite a special video, because we are here at the Bilstein Experience Day 2022, basically a track day by them. And it's the first time that we'll be driving their Toyota Supra. Now, we drove it last year, and many of you had the question, or actually request to drive it on the Nordschleife to compare it to other Supras, <laughs> because the big question was, of course, does it suffer from bump steer? Now, by now, it's when I'm shooting this particular fragment, I already have driven the car for a full day, did numerous taxi laps, and everyone has been blown away by it. There, you probably already published a vlog where you could see all the reactions of everyone, including myself. But today's video is going to be quite special because I want to share with you the very first lap I did with the car. Well, to be honest, the second lap, because the first lap was in the morning when it was fully wet, so it was completely not comparable. On same as lakes, and we did some lead and follow. So you think, are we going to get pancakes or no? Well, it's already after 11, so no. Oh, they're only in the morning? They're only till 11. Why did you tell me that before? I told you, you were not listening. You didn't say until 11, did you? I've been saying it for the last seven years. And then the second lap was with, together with Matt Watson from Carwow, where we hopped in the car, and then he said, well, well, can you show me the line? I'm like, yep, I can show you the line. So it was the first lap that we went a bit faster than well done regularly and i must say the car is really 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 confidence inspiring you could see already on the first lap that i could do certain things that um usually you shouldn't be doing definitely not at home and also not at the nürburgring so that's a very good job from burstein when it comes to setting up the suspension and the car in general so quick walk around about around the car we have pro track wheels mounted on top we have the yokohama advan a052 yeah tires brakes, stock braking disc, stock braking caliper, but Paget RSL 29 pads, different fluid, different brake, um, what's it called, brake lines. We have a classic Supra wing here for extra downforce. It is actually working because the speeds we were doing through Schwedenkreuz is quite impressive. Um, yeah, different exhaust. I don't remember what and how, the, yeah, different exhaust. And then, of course, most importantly, we should ask Simon, Motorsport, what suspension is the Super running? This time, of course. But which one? That one. That one. That one. But <laughs> let me ask you another question. <laughs> Evo T1. Evo T1, yes, there we go. Let me ask you another question. Yes. Did you get check engine? Ch check engine? Yeah. No? No. Oh, for how, the how, did, how did the car run? Oh, good. Was it fast? Yes. So how, many, how many uh, power does it have? 462. You know who 462. You know who tuned it? Uh, Bierstein. <laughs> <laughs> as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> no, Franz did did, did, did uh, Steuergerät mapping. Yeah, but yeah. it is reliable. Right? It's, it's, well, they did the track day, so it's good. So yeah. 460 horsepower. What exhaust is it running? Um, I think lightweight. Yeah. Uh, lightweight, Wait. and it's running a downpipe. Yeah. With as a, well. With sport catalyzer, inventory intake. Yeah. Uh, and the tune. And the tune. Yeah. And that's about it. So it was. It's pretty fast. Pretty fun. Pretty well set up. The, by now, after having driven a full day, I can say that the car could be set up a bit harder, but it's better to be slightly too soft than too hard on the Nordschleife. So yeah. it was, yeah. Depends what you're doing, right? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So later on, we will set up to do some hard etc. But in any case, so far the specs, and now enjoy the lap that we did together with Matt. <coughs> hello, hello. Hello. You had a good day so far? I uh have. -huh. It's been great going. 
and doing the hot lap around the <laughs> in the GT4 AMG was just nuts. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Yes. So you're going to drive me around the Nürburgring, yeah. show me how it's done, show me the lines. Yeah. I'm going to forget all about that, uh -huh. and then I'm going to drive, mm -hmm. and you're going to tell me everything I'm doing wrong, so you're going to be talking a lot. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, I haven't driven this car before. Okay. Well, I have driven it last year, but it was not completely in the same condition. And I've driven it this morning when it was fully wet and cold. Okay. So you have driven it before, you're just making some excuses. Yes. Okay. But that's, some, that's what you do on YouTube, make driver excuses. Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll just see how it goes. There's so much to learn, so many different corners. You can't, I mean, how long do you reckon it takes to know it? You know, like you would, you know, on a day, on a, at a new racing circuit, you can learn a racing circuit and yeah. know where all the corners are, which are, what your lines are. Here, how long does it take you to learn it? It, it, it depends on the driver, obviously. Because uh, if you're just like an amateur driver or a gentleman driver and you just like to do track days for fun, yeah, it will take you probably like at least 100 laps to know left and right. Really? Yeah. A pro, professional pro driver like these guys driving GT4s, uh -huh. for them they might be like 10 laps and they'll be, they'll be good. The issue becomes as a, for an amateur driver, you know left and right, but you don't know the elevation changes and small bumps. Mm -hmm. So you might be knowing like, okay, I know that this corner goes to the right, but then all of a sudden you have a bump out of the corner and that unsettles the car and you end up in the wall. Yeah. So these small things, that's, yeah, those are like small steps that you need to learn. And they're different to any other GP type uh, track that are flat. Okay, what is he? Can we go? Where are they? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we can go? We can go. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, so you want me to narrate you the track a bit? Yep. Teach me it. Okay. So always be smooth through here. Watch out for oncoming cars in case you have cars coming through. Okay, on the gas. Of the curve on the brakes, hearts, beginning of the curve. 
aircraft tuning in. It was a bit damp here, so we'll take it slightly easy. Alright, late turn in to Colin Hart, right curbstone to the outside, right fence, bit on the brakes, as you can see damp here, so yeah. it's getting dry, it's nice. What's your favorite bit of the track? Everything. Just all of it? Yeah. Yeah. 
but the way you've got it moving around, the way it's leaping sideways, what you said about the bumps, how it upsets the car, and if you don't know what you're doing, it can just, you can be on it and doing a decent line, yeah. but the bump just unbalances the, the car corner. and you are screwed. Yeah. And that, honestly, that for me, was that was scarier than being in the race car. It, yeah. it was, that was more of a, like a, even more of a thrill, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, because it's just looser, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but suspension's very well set up. Because important thing with notch life, it needs to Breathe. not to be too stiff. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's too stiff, you unsettle the car too much. <sharp inhale> so you need to have a perfect balance of actually be smooth to be able to swallow those imperfections of the road surface while yet maintain the, as much grip as possible. So for the first lap, I'm actually quite satisfied with the car. <laughs> <laughs> it did all right. <laughs> need, need, need to get used a bit more to it, but uh, yeah. Please go. All right, your turn. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is going to be very. This is going to be like a Sunday drive, okay? But it's Wednesday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>